Hi, I'm professional sports handicapper Ross Benjamin. It's Wednesday, October 23rd. Time for another edition of my college football free picks. Um, let's get this right out of the way. We had a horrible week last week. I beat on my chest when we win. We're all happy when we win, but you know what? We got to take the good with the bad. Uh, went over last week, last weekend, I should say, uh, between the NFL and college football. First time that's happened in many, many months. Despite the 0-6, uh, 60-46 and 46 over my last 39 videos. Folks, that's still good for 57%. That'll make you a lot of money. We're going to prove upon that number this week. Let's put it behind us and let's move on. Um, that's what every good pro does, and that's what I'm going to do right now. So let's get right to the three college football games for Saturday, uh, the October the 26th. Uh, let's start with the game between number nine Auburn and number two LSU, 3:30 p.m. Eastern Time on CBS. Currently, as we speak, LSU is an 11-point favorite in this contest. This is a 7-0 LSU team. They're extremely good. But you know, folks, they've allowed a lot of yards and a lot of points in a few games this year. So they don't have the defense they've had in the past LSU teams have, but they're far superior offensively. Uh, case in point, they've allowed 38 points and 530 yards to Texas this year. They allowed 38 points to SEC bottom dweller. Uh, Vanderbilt and also Vanderbilt had 374 yards in that game and they're going to win over Florida. The Gators only had 28 points but they racked up 457 yards of offense against this LSU defense. So they could be had uh, as far as the opposition moving the ball on them which means sometimes uh, the underdog if they're capable of moving the ball, which it's proven already, teams have been able to do so, could sneak in the back door or make life awfully difficult and take LSU down to the wire. I think that's what's going to happen in this contest. I really do. I think Auburn is going to give them all they can handle in this game. This is also an Auburn team that scored 51 points or more in three of their last five games. They're averaging 240 yards per game on the ground, 5.2 yards per Per rushing attempt and if they have success running the ball against this LSU defense which I believe they will it's certainly a recipe and a formula for a double digit underdog to stay in the game and Auburn's defense although their statistics don't show it they're very good up front and they can make uh, life a little more difficult than LSU has been used to as they've been moving the ball at will against opponents all season long uh, here's the thing Auburn's number nine in the country. They only have one loss. And if they hope to stay in the conversation for the college football playoffs, it's imperative they win this game here. Now, I'm not going to go out on a limb and call for an outright win, but I do think that Auburn will keep this game close. If they don't pull the upset, I think they take this game down to the wire. And uh, just keep in mind, the last three games between these teams have all been decided by five points or less. I'm going to take Auburn here, plus the 11 at LSU. Next game, uh, another SEC battle as we see Mississippi State travel to College Station, Texas to take on the Texas A&M Aggies. Kickoff time noon Eastern. Right now, the Aggies are a 10.5 point home favorite over Mississippi State. This is a Mississippi State team that started the year okay, but they've really faltered of late. They've lost four of their last five. That includes going 0-3 straight up in ATS in their last three games. And during that current three-game losing streak, they've allowed 37.7 points per contest and four on um, close to 450 yards per game. Uh, MSU in their first three games, uh, they depended heavily on defense taking the ball away and uh, ball security, and it worked awfully well for them as there was plus six turnover differential in their first three over their last four they fell to a minus three turnover differential texas a&m's four and three but don't get fooled by the record folks they're much better than that four and three record will indicate uh their only three losses this year came against number one alabama number four clemson and number nine auburn those teams are nothing to sneeze at they'll also be playing with revenge after losing at mississippi state last year 
28 to 13. I like the Texas A&M Aggies here, minus the 10 and a half. Buy them down to 10, folks. Remember, we talked about key numbers on several occasions. 10 is uh, certainly a key number in college football. Texas A&M, minus 10 and a half. Buy them down to 10 over Mississippi State. Finally, a Big Ten matchup between the uh, number 20 Iowa Hawkeyes and the Northwestern Wildcats. The game will be played in Evanston, Illinois, home of the Northwestern Wildcats. Right now, Iowa is a 10-point road favorite, and justifiably so. Northwestern 1-5 on the year. Their only win came against that hapless program in the Mountain West called UNLV. They've lost four straight, and during that four-game losing streak, uh, they've scored 15 points or less in each of those losses. They're going to be facing an Iowa defense that, that this year is allowing just 11.6 points per game and 275 yards per contest. Iowa comes in 5-2, and two, as I touched upon already, number 20 in the country, and their only losses have come to Penn State, 17-12. to 12. Penn State, by the way, undefeated at number 6 in the country, and also at number 19, Michigan, 10-3. to So they're a play or two away from being an undefeated team, and they'll also be out to revenge three straight losses at the hands of Northwestern, and all three of those losses came by seven points or fewer. I think Iowa gets the revenge here. This is a Northwestern offense. It's anemic. This is a top-shelf Iowa defense. Uh, I think Northwestern's defense will keep them in the game for a while, but they'll wear down in the second half. Uh, I like Iowa to pull away in the second half of this game, and I'm going to take the Iowa Hawkeyes minus the 10 at Northwestern. Repeating again, we're going to take Auburn plus 11 at LSU. Texas A&M minus 10 and a half. Buy them down to 10 at home over Mississippi State. And the Iowa Hawkeyes minus 10 over the Northwestern Wildcats. Be sure to visit my website, rbwins.com. Despite the horrible week we had with our free pick videos last week, I went 7-2 and two on Saturday and Sunday in college football in the NFL. It's rbwins.com. That's where I uh, my all my rate late excuse me releases are, and uh, my paying clients receive those games. It's rbwins.com, where you pay a little to make a lot. Until the next time, good luck with all your picks.